Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 10 of the Agile development training. In this day, we'll talk about that unified backlog. So what is unified backlog and how useful for the unified backlog? So let's say that in your current uh, situation, it can be create the incident. Some cases it can be create the defect and all these can be converted to a uh, so um, story. Let's say that you got an incident from your customer and then that can be potentially converted to a story because that is the incident because of your some development work and that is the actual issue for your platform. So you can convert this incident to a story and you can manage from the unified backlog. For unified backlog, you need to install a plugin. So this plugins you have already installed in our uh, uh, package. So if I go back to the plugins under this plugins, and this package agile development we have already installed that in our first day and then you can see this unified backlog which is already predefined installed so we don't need to do anything for that so it is already in installed uh, so this unified backlog is installed what we have to do we can just impersonate that our uh, product owner that we have created and we have defined a a product backlog right so where we, there we can go back so i just impersonate the scrum product owner that we have created and under this we can go to this agile module we have a um, backlog that we have created personal backlog under this backlog the service now backlog that we have created you will have a one option called triage definition so this triage definition is nothing but that you can define that you know, which kind of record you are going to convert to um, your uh, uh, you know story so you just click the new options here and here you can let's say that if it is an incident and you can convert that incident to the story you can uh, you can select that so let's say that i'm going to select the incident here and i'm putting the name is incident okay And submit that. Once we click that, this triage definition is added here, and you can create a multiple triage definition. So let's say that somebody can create also defect. So let's say that defect. Um, you can define that defect also, and save that. And definitely, you can put the uh, condition based on your criteria and submit that. So one thing you notice that under this product, um, I I have not although although mentioned that in under the product. Uh, personal backlog once you are trying to create that you don't have any options to change the story or change that option to the table because the backlog is all about the story so we can't change the table name under this backlog but in this uh, triage definition we can put that which kind of um, data we are going to triage or which kind of data we are going to convert as a story so we can say that incident can be converted as a story, defect can be converted as a story. So let's say that in a real time scenario, uh, in your production one uh, incident came up and you analyze the incident and that incident can be converted as a story. My, might be the story is all about the documentation or analysis or might be it is all about the development, you can't go that. For that, what flexibility we are getting that, we just have to go back to this agile board under this agile board so this is all about that maintaining our uh, backlog right now if you click here we have a defect two and incident convert count is zero why incident count is zero let's go back to this incident table and see how many incident i mean isn't there is any incident probably you can see there is blank because this user of uh, this uh, you know, the Scrum product owner doesn't have uh, visibility or that doesn't have read access for certain incident uh, which is they are not belong. So that's the reason uh, they the user cannot see that. So let's say that one incident created and submit that so that incident record have visibility for that, uh, you know, our user. Once this incident got created, if we refresh that triage board and click new and here you can see the total count is showing this is the total count that we can try so in defect we can uh, we have a two and the incident is one it means that these two defect can be convert to a story and this is the incident that can convert to a um, you know a story so let's click the defect first 
and then once we can uh, we, we can see that we have options once we select that these two all or one and click add to backlog once we select the add to backlog this story we, or this defect will be converted to our and uh, converted to a story and that will be added to a, our backlog so if i go back to this agile boat one more time there will be a new story which is in backlog and that is created from a uh, defect there is a uh, number which is showing the defect number and this is the this is the defect which is added to our uh, backlog but this defect have a corresponding story so this is this is the originated defect for this defect uh, we created a story this is the uh, story and you can see the originated original task number which is nothing but a defect number so basically this so this is the way we can convert our any particular incident or any particular story to uh, you know um, or particular defect or incident to a story and then uh, we can prioritize in our sprint planning meeting we can prioritize and then we can you know move those so this is all about how we can uh, use the unified backlog how we can convert our actual um, a data or actual incident problem change to uh, uh, you know to our uh, you can convert to a story so if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day